Are you a content creator looking for effects to bring your videos to a whole new level? Welcome to Production Crate. Production Crate is the resource for graphics, visual effects, music, and much more. Get your unlimited free effects today or premium effects for only $49 a year. Make it awesome. guys my name is Alex welcome back to a brand new Vegas 16 tutorial and in this video like you guys have seen in the intro I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to make yourself smaller and this is a really cool concept that popped up in my head at like a really weird time and you know like a place in bed at 2 a.m. boom you got to make a video about how to make yourself smaller in Vegas Pro 16 that's what we're gonna do so if you guys are new make sure to subscribe for more of these awesome tutorials and obviously let's get started right now with the video so first of all before I'm going to show you guys how to actually how to actually do it I'm going to show you guys what you need as well to make this video all right so we're going to first start off with a good environment you want to have like a really big wall where you can hang up a green screen like that and also something green it can be a green screen it can be a green cloth it can be anything as long as it is green and it is not really too wrinkly you're good to go so the concept of this tutorial is basically you want to place yourself in a fully a uh, green background where you want to mask yourself out and place yourself in a different position so what you need to do as well is make sure that you fit into the entire frame so what I had to do is I had to take the tripod of my camera let's see where it is I think it is still in the living room right so here is my tripod as you can see and what you need to do first of all is just undo all the legs and then what you want to do is place it onto something high it can be anything it can be a stand stack some boxes and you just want to you know take all the legs out and then just place it onto the boxes Okay, it's very simple. I have all the legs out as you can see. So then the only thing what you need to do, and let's see if I can do this with one hand, you just need to go ahead and place this guy on these boxes. Position it, obviously, that is nice and stable like that. So that's basically the setup that I have, but obviously that top part can also screw out even more. So then you want to basically have this kind of angle where you just want to place the camera onto it and then you can have yourself fully into the screen so that you're really easy and trackable. So once you've filmed everything, it is just part one done. You need also part two, which is going to uh, filming the place where you're gonna place your mini itself it can be for example right here uh, if, I, if you place the camera right there you can position your guy right there I just use the couch but you want to make sure that you will actually you know keep in mind the depth of field because if you're standing like completely straight it's not gonna look natural because if you're standing completely straight and you're filming yourself on eye level you need to also make sure that you will film your actual new place on eye level like that if you're gonna have like a tilted kind of angle not like this but like this you want to also tilt your camera for example like that or like that so it will actually so it look it will, it will actually look like way more natural than just having like standing on here but it's not looking really that realistic and another thing that's optional guys is for example let's say that this one is a little bit lighter than that one you can always just turn on the light or you can just use one of these studio lights and you can just put that one on there just make sure that your studio lights or any light source is not included in the shot you don't want to have your your lamp right there because otherwise you will 
see that in the footage. So just make sure to just place your lamp, for example, like that, aiming onto the green screen so that it is nice and lit and evenly lighted. And that's basically a, just an optional thing. I just have, you know, the natural light of the sun out. So that's basically something I didn't have to do. But it's just a really interesting fact that you can actually do a lot and compensate a lot if you have external lighting and everything is lit, obviously even. Right, so now that we've shot both clips on the green screen and your place where you're gonna transform to, let's go into Vegas and I'm gonna show you guys exactly how it's done. All right, so now that we filmed everything and we are done shooting, we just imported all the footage onto our computer. Let's go ahead and drag our footage onto our timeline. Okay, so this is basically me just pressing record and just getting ready. So right here, as you can see, I'm standing and I'm even jumping onto the actual screen, which is pretty funny. Okay, so this is basically the part that we're gonna use. I'm gonna shrink it down for a second. So then what we need to do, first of all, is go to the video effects tab and we're gonna add in a little bit more brightness and contrast because you want to basically make sure that the green screen where you're standing on and this one is a similar color. Now, obviously the sun was shining here and there. So that's why, you know, both green screens on the wall and on the ground got different lightings and, you know, everything like that. So we got to compensate that by going to the actual video effects tab. And we're going to scroll down until we see brightness and contrast, which is this one. Then we're going to drag the default onto the clip and we're going to just drag this contrast bar just a little bit to the right. So you guys will see what happens to the footage. So this is basically what we will have to see. So that that's going to basically make it a lot easier to remove the background. So now that we've done that, what we need to do is click on the event pan crop icon. Then what we're going to do is we're going to hit mask at the bottom and we're going to mask out ourselves. So we're going to just click right here, click right there, right there. And then also at the bottom, just close it out like that. So as you can see, this is just us standing onto a green background. Very simple, very straightforward. Then what we need to do is basically close this out and we need to just remove the green background. So we're going to go to the video effects tab once more. Then we're going to scroll down until we see the chroma key. Then pick the default one, drag it onto the clip. And then what we need to do is uncheck it for just a minute. Then we're going to click on this blue bar. That's obviously because we want to pick the green screen. Then we're going to pick this pencil icon so we can actually pick a nice green part. I'm going to pick, for example, right there. So then what we need to do is just recheck it. And as you can see, this is just us standing. But what we need to do is optimize this because we have still a little bit of blue behind us. Go to media generators, solid color at the very bottom. I'm going to just pick red, for example. So now we can see things we need to adjust. So we're going to go back to the event pan crop. We need to click on chroma key and we need to mess with both the low threshold and the high threshold, because if I bring up the low threshold, that's going to remove the other one. If I bring down the high threshold, as you can see, it's, make, it's going to make us visible again. And that's basically how you just want to, you know, switch with these, you know, these markers and just actually actually fine tune it until everything is gone like that. So I'm going to do that. You can also just go ahead and mess with this little marker, for example, like that to make it a little bit easier like this. Okay, so then we still see this black one and this black one. So we can remove that by just, I don't know, like masking out just a little bit. And also on the other side like that. So this is us standing. And if I play it back, that's us transparent. So now we need to remove the red so we can now drag on the footage of our new location. So I decided yo let's just do this on the couch so i'm just going to drag in that footage as well which is right here and then you want to just drag actually the footage underneath your clip of your green screen and then you just need to resize yourself a little bit so i'm going to go to the track motion icon of the green screen clip make this box a little bit smaller just drag it around and then what you can also do is you can place yourself on the cap uh, on this tv remote anywhere where you want on the screen so i'm just going to place place myself right here that's that's how I did it as well in the actual intro. If I play it back, this is, well, I'm just gonna crop out the first part because that's me positioning the camera. So this is basically what it looks like, guys. You're just right now really tiny anywhere. And let's say that you want to run around and everything. You need to have a really big room and you have to have like a huge green wall and a green floor because anytime if you want to run, you still need to be in a green background in order to remove the background, obviously. So if I play it back, this is basically what it looks like, guys. It is really, really awesome. This is how you make yourself smaller. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to smash the like button down below. If you like this video, subscribe if you're new. I had so much fun making this video. And if you guys are also creating this effect, make sure to just tweet a link, you know, of a video that you created at Alex Halford on Twitter or on Instagram. Just tag me in your Instagram story or a video and I'll be more than happy to check it out and drop a like. So guys, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next tour.